Imagination is one of the ingredients that can launch a believer into the realm of the supernatural. When God wants to help a man, it will influence his imagination. And also when the devil wants to interfere in what God has for you, it will manipulate your imaginations. He can't stop it, but he can manipulate it. In Genesis chapter number 11, verse 6, the children of Israel are building the Tower of Babel. They want to build to get to the gate of heaven. And one morning, they will knock the door of heaven and say, God, we have arrived. And the Bible says God came down and looked at the people. He said the people is one. They are one language. And God said nothing can stop that which they have imagined to do. I want us in this service to take advantage of your imagination. Be careful of what you meditate. In Proverbs chapter 4, the Bible says, Guide your heart with all diligence, for out of it are issues of life. You will eventually become the product of your thought, your experience of His power. Your experience of his presence is tied to their imaginations. If you want to experience the power of God, the presence of God, begin to imagine the mighty God in your heart. And in Ephesians chapter 3, he said, Now unto him who is able, I love the way King James put it. He said, He's exceedingly, abundantly, he's mighty, able to do that which you have asked or imagined. He said, Because there is a power of God on the inside of you that will work it out. Have you ever imagined that this year you will have your own baby? Have you ever imagined that this year you will prosper? Have you ever imagined in your heart that this year I will be healed? Your imagination is powerful. It's like your spiritual womb. But you can't give back to your miracle without conceiving it in your womb. Your imagination is your womb. Seed must be released into that womb. The word of God is the seed that will germinate in the womb of your imagination to produce your miracle. That is why Apostle Peter, in 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 23, he said, being born again, not of corruptible seed, but of incorruptible seed by the word of God, which liveth and abide there forever. The word of God is a living word. The word of God is powerful. It's quick than any two edges were. It can divide between the man and the spirit. The Bible says it can even separate even the intent of the heart. If what you just need to do is to imagine the big God working a miracle. Imagine a big God healing you. This week, you will experience the mightiness of God. Somebody is returning next week with a visible testimony.